So this question says, the table above lists the lengths to the nearest inch of a random sample of 21 brown bullhead fish. The outlier measurement of 24 inches is an error, right? So this one is an error. Of the mean, median, and range of the values listed, which will change the most if the 24 inch measurement is removed from the data? All right, so this question really has no shortcut. We're, meant that we're told that we have a mean to find, a median to find, and a range to find, which obviously means we have to understand what all these things represent. So just to do a little bit of, of uh, recap, mean, the mean means that you're finding or you're adding up all of the values here, right? So we have, again, 21 brown bullhead fish. We're adding up all 21 values um, in terms of the lengths of fish, and then we're dividing that by 21, right? So we're going to have uh, sum of lengths divided by 21. The median is just the middle term, right? So let's just find that really quickly. So I like to just cross out from the edges like this until we figure out what the term in the middle is. So 11, 13, 12, 13. Okay, so all we have left are 12. So the median in this case is 12. And then the range is just the, um, the range is the difference between the largest value and the lowest value. So in this case, the range would be 24 minus eight, which is equal to 16. So let's find, let's find this, this mean. Um, so in your calculator, you can very quickly add up all of these values. So I'm gonna do it here as well. So I have eight plus nine plus nine plus nine plus 10 plus 10 plus 11 plus 11 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 13 plus another 13, right? Plus 14 plus 14 plus 15 plus 15 and plus 16 and plus 24 and dividing. So what I get from that, just get some more space. I get 262. Again, I'm going to divide that by 21. So divide it by 21 equals, I get 12, roughly 12.5. I get 12.47, but let's call it 12.5. So these are all of my values before I remove the 24, right? So median is 12, range is 16, and the mean is 12.5. So when I remove the 24, what happens? So the mean... is now instead of 262, right? So we don't have to go back and add it all up again, right? So instead of the 262, I know I'm subtracting out of that sum of the lengths, the 24. And then instead of dividing by 21, I'm now dividing by 20 because I don't have that last fish measurement. So 262 minus 24 is 238. 238 divided by 20 is 11.9. So our new mean is 11.9. And the difference between the old mean and the new mean, so 12 point, I'll call it 12.5 minus 11.9. So there's a difference of 0 0.6. So that's the first difference. The median, if you recall, uh, our median was 12. But if you recall, there was also, there there's like four 12s in here. Right, so removing one term, removing this 24 is not going to shift us out of that range. Um, if you want it, we could obviously do that process again where we're kind of crossing out from the edges. But I think you'll pretty quickly notice that all we have left are 12s. So the median is going to be 12, which means it has not changed, right? So there's a zero change there. So zero change. 0 0.6 change. Lastly is the range. So in this case, because the 24 is gone, we'd have 16 minus 8. So the range has is now 8 instead of being 16. So there's a change of 8. So 8 is our change. 
So just to make sure we're focusing on the right values, what I care about are these values here that I just boxed in the black line. So the largest change, right? So which will change the most? Well, it looks like the range changed the most. It changed by eight, whereas the median did not change at all and the mean only changed by 0 0.6. So the, our answer here would be C for the range.